<clears throat> All right, so it's a little after nine, maybe close to 9.30, leaving Farley Lake. And today we get to climb up and over the pass and hopefully go to Imogene or Imogene. Everybody around here calls it Imogene Lake. We plan on spending the night there. Not too many miles, but we got a ways to go up, as always. What? Bow tie lake. What, what? Bow tie lake. Oh, yeah, bow, bow knot or whatever it is. Oh. I, that might be a little farther up. There's a couple little, I don't know. Well, the bad news is we got a lot of up. The good news is if we knock that out, then most of the rest of the trip is essentially down. Except for the little bit where we gotta cross over from Yellow Belly Lake or whatever it's called. Yellow Tail or Yellow Belly or something. Gonna be some up though, fucking hell. <clears throat> Damn, this trail is packed with people. Getting hazy already. I keep taking pictures.
rocky place. So we just turned off the path that we've been on the entire time. And we are now heading up towards Edith Lake and the pass that goes over uh, <clears throat> into the drainage where Imogene and Hell Roaring and all that is. And uh, it's supposed to be about a mile and a half, but it's also about 1,500 feet of elevation gain to the top of the pass, which is like 9,600 feet. So, it's gonna be some up. We'll see how we do. I think we can do it. Let's be smart and take our time. Remember, I heart switchbacks. So talks away is just right down in there. I think our guidebook was probably right as far as Farley having just incredible views even even compared to Toxaway. Yeah. So we may we may actually lay eyes on Toxaway from up here, I don't know. Really Say again? Yeah. Well, I'm not complaining. That was pretty good. Yeah. That was a pretty good campsite. You did a good job there, babe. Driving me on. Trail Boss Trishy. Say hi to your friends and family, Trail Boss Trishy. <laughs> that right there says that right there says it all about how she likes that nickname. <laughs> if you can if you can laugh while you're going uphill, you're doing all right. Dooby dooby doo, up and through. Boulder Field. Uppity up up. Uh. 
I'll turn the GoPro off now because otherwise you'll just be looking at my feet on the trail as I lean forward. It was really hazy today. It wasn't nearly as bad yesterday. No. It was really hazy today. Yep. Of course, today we're up at the top. Probably want to go this way. Yeah. Lake was down there. Probably more was down there. Up we go. Some mo. Doing okay? Yeah. Feet okay? Mind and body okay? So we're leaving Edith Lake. Had a little snack, a little water, and we gotta go. I'm not sure if we go up that way or it might even be up that way. We'll see. We're going over that somewhere. Well, it's this way. Somewhere. Say again? Here it is. You ready, pumpkin? That was a good break. get up into the higher windier parts and yeah stopping cools you right off quick but be glad it's not blazing up here Jesus this would be quite miserable if it was really hot My heart switchbacks is about to begin big time. Feeling pretty good, love? Well, you say when. They'll probably be uh, for sure on the way down. I'll probably use mine too. See what it's like, but definitely helps from rolling on the marbly gravel. You just say when, Boop. Huh? So a view of Edith as we begin our climb up to the pass and over into the 
whatever the heck the name, I guess they, I'm not sure what the name of that drainage is. Hellroaring, actually. Hellroaring. It's Hellroaring Creek. All right, up we go. Not the same hell roaring as in Montana, north of Yellowstone. You can probably see the other people going up there. There's a lot of people out here. There are a lot of people out here. It is solitude you are looking for. Don't come, Pika, right there. See him, Pika. Yeah. So, Pika means you are in alpine habitat. He just went under the rocks. Yep, he's right there. We might see some more. Had the GoPro going, I don't know. I was just a couple quick flashes of his keister, but. Right there. See him just run across in front of me? Right there. On the rocks. Yeah. Pika, pika. Hi, guys. Another, another one. So this pass is like 9,600 something feet. It's under 10,000, but we're farther north. So, ecological equivalent of 10,000 something. Glad you got your poles out. chirping yeah cool still gonna go past rocks and weird places for you're not gonna see any up here <laughs> so we are at the trail marker up here where we need to take a turn to the east Go to Imogene Lake, two and a quarter miles. That's where we're going. Oh, I see the guy coming down. Switchbacks are us, baby. Let's do it. Man, I don't know if there's more people or dogs in here these days. Yeah, there's the probably the gap we'll hit up there. It looks like somebody's standing there. We make that, we're done going up. It may take us an hour, but we'll make it. Did I mention I heart switchbacks? This is actually not bad because there's so many switchbacks, you're not dying on them. So you can see the trail down there. 
That little puddle is above the lake that you can just make out through the trees. So we're doing well, baby. I love you. The one guy said that there it was pretty calm at Imogene last night, so hopefully we'll find a good spot. It ain't so calm down there. We're going up there. Finally, a short sprint above tree line. Sprint, haha. -ha. A puff and a huff and a wheeze above tree line. Whee! And we're gaining on it. I love you. I love you. Gorgeous. You and the mountains. This really is not horrible because of because of the switchbacks. Each uh, each segment's really not that bad, you know. No, it's not. We'll get there. There's Edith. Way down there is the valley we came from. Talks away to be at the base of those far hills over there. And when we hit the top of this, we will be by far at the highest elevation of the trip. And we're getting there. And we are 
at the pass crew with a few other people. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> Dave, thank you for talking me into this. I ain't talking to climbing up though. Alright, let's do that with and enjoy both sides. Do you want your pack off and pictures or? If you're uncomfortable, that's fine too. Then. Okay. Do you want your pack on or off? Let's leave it. On. Okay. When you go stand right uh, where you are, actually, maybe here. Actually, I'm because I'm recording, so we're looking down past Trisha at Imogene Lake, which is where we're gonna stay tonight, and our quarry is in sight. Yay! So that's the hell roaring drainage, and we'll be going down this. Next couple days, life will be easier. And uh, we're at the top of the pass. It's cool. Looking where we came from. And the trail down there goes over to Edith. We're not going there. Or I mean, not Edith. What is that other lake anyway? We came from Edith. But this is it. We can go down. I'm, I'm recording the whole thing. I'm going to take a picture of you. No. I was thinking of you. Your mama's doing great and she's a toughie. All right, well, we have come down from the pass and that is it right there, that little dip up there. Switchback City, I heart switchbacks, but we made it. And uh, that is the most as far as the elevation gain and loss, that is the most we will be doing on this trip. And this drainage, pretty much the rest of the way, we'll have to climb over a little hump to get out the last morning, last day, whenever we decide. But I love you, good job. So let's go down to Imogene and find a campsite. And if you uh, at any point decide you want to lose the poles, let me know. And even taking our time coming down that, that was only a half an hour from the top. So that's not too bad. Lightning McQueen. Lightning made it, ka
rolling gentle hills of Idaho. So the falls that lead to Imogene, we need to get across here. Uh, I think if we cross right here, we can probably find our way around. So, Hello everybody, it's night two and we are at Lake Imogene, which is where we're spending our second night. We found a really cool campsite clear up there at the top of that mountain where there's a teeny itty bitty little divot is where we came across on the pass it's not as bad as it looks like it would be from here and this is a gorgeous 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 place there are people around but it's not quite as crowded as yesterday and this is our little campsite up here Very nice little tilted. That will be okay. We get to snuggle more. And actually a pretty large lake. 
we're about halfway down on the tip of a peninsula. There's a lot of peninsulas around here. Um, but it's an absolutely beautiful place. Very, very lucky we get to see it. And down here, is where John is making dinner, having pasta primavera with extra peas. He's having beef stew with hot sauce and extra peas. Hi everyone, I'm John and I'll be your chef. And it's just gorgeous down here. It's hard to explain how beautiful it really is. Do you want me to pour your water or you want to wait for a minute while you're filming? Um, I don't care. Well, you kind of need to mix it. I'll wait till you're ready. Okay. Okay. I'll fill a few extra peas in mine to satisfy my pea overlord.